back. If you're new, my name is Robin, and I'm hoping that today is a good one for you. It has been a very good day for me so far. It's about 9.30 already, and as you will have already seen, <laughs> I kind of started off slowly this morning, getting a few tasks done here around the house that needed to be done. But my main focus for today is going to be decorating. I'm so excited to finally be able to tackle decorating some of the spaces in our new home. If you've been following along this past summer, we just recently moved into a new house. So the decorating has never been done by me in this home yet. So it's gonna be a little different for me. I have to figure things out as I go along of how I want things to be. So I'm hoping to do some decorating today with a fall inspired theme in both my hutch and in the living room area behind me. So I don't have the furniture yet in my living room area. I just have a few like side chairs, a couple tables, that sort of thing. But I have a beautiful fireplace and a little nook off to the side of that that's got like a built in underneath it. And both of them are just screaming for a little bit of decor. So I'm excited to add some decor into those areas and try to make it a little more homey and inviting. And of course, I'll be adding a few fall inspired items into that area as well because it is the seasons. I've also figured out where I want to hang a couple mirrors, so we're gonna do that today as well. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to accomplish in one day since it's all new to me, but we're just gonna start at the beginning and see how far we can get for the day. And then I can always make another video if I don't get very far <laughs> and share with you what I do with the rest of the space on another day. So I'm excited to get started. I hope you guys will be excited to follow me along as I decorate my new spaces. So let's get started.
there has been a slight change of plans. <laughs> My sister called me up about a half hour ago, asked if I wanted to go to Ikea, and of course I said yes. So now I'm headed out the door to do a little Ikea shopping, and I will let you know if I pick up anything. Bye. So I'm back from Ikea. I have been back for a while, actually. I got home, I don't know, a little bit before three, and then I had to take a restorative nap because I was so exhausted. Ikea shopping is really hard on me. Not, not only, you know, it's a big store, but there's so much going on that it, it's mentally exhausting. So <laughs> I couldn't even think about decorating right away. So I took myself a nice little nap for about an hour, hour and a half. It's almost five o'clock right now. So now I'm kind of freaking out that I'm not going to get everything decorated today, but that's going to be okay. If I don't ever get everything done today, I will do a little more decorating tomorrow morning and I'll share that with you guys as well. So back to Ikea. So my sister and I went, um, we were joined by our friend Amy and we had a lovely time just wandering around the store and looking at different things. And then of course, loading up our basket full of stuff. And, and then afterwards we went out to lunch, which was really nice. We very rarely treat ourselves to going shopping and then going out for lunch. So it was a nice little treat and kind of a fun way to uh, get together catch up and enjoy ourselves. So that was really nice. Very impromptu. I had no idea this morning when I woke up that I was going to Ikea, but I like that I did. <laughs> so now of course I need to share with you, I told you I would share with you what I picked up when I went shopping. I didn't go crazy. Um, I bought a few things and then I did buy a piece of furniture to go into my office, which is too big to share with you, but it's basically just a big cubby Basically, I think it's going to fill up most of that wall that's behind my desk. If you've watched any of my videos in there, um, probably a thrift store Thursday, that big blank wall behind my desk. Um, so yeah, I bought a big cubby unit to go there, which is in four different boxes, <laughs> which is not going to get put together today. But I can show you the rest of the stuff, and I'm sure I will do a video on putting that together and getting it set up and decorated and all that when I get to it. But I actually have two other shelf units that we bought, my husband and I, um, a couple weeks ago that are supposed to be for storage for in the garage. And those are still sitting in the boxes. So those I feel like I need to do first. <laughs> so I've got a lot of stuff to do and not a whole lot of time to get everything done. So everything is just you know, like piling up on me, but that's okay. It makes me motivated to get stuff done. So anyways, that being all said, let me take the camera over to the kitchen counter and I will share with you what I picked up when I was at Ikea today, and then we will get to the hutch. All right, let's go. So the first thing I got was this bag. You know at Ikea they don't give you bags or not, or whatever. And they had this cute little one, because I did need a very big one. I think it was like, I don't know, 39 cents or something like that. So it's super cute, lots of rainbows, lots of color. So I picked that up and it was a perfect size for all my little stuff. So the next thing I picked up were these little bins right here. There's two of them. They were $2.79 each. Um, I thought these would be perfect for the pantry to put, I don't know, packets of things or maybe just like filled with fruit snacks or granola bar or something like that so we could take it out of the containers and throw them into here. Now this is a smaller size. There's also a larger size, which is taller and wider. Um, I think those are about $4 each. But I thought I would go with this size to see how I liked it. And if I like them, I may go back and get some of the larger if I can figure out um, that they would work for me. So I picked those up, two of those. And then, of course, I have to pick up tea lights whenever I'm there. 100 for $3.99, I believe. So I picked up 200 <laughs> I go through these so fast in the winter time because I love burning tea lights because I know that they're not going to start a fire. When they get low, they just extinguish themselves and I don't have to worry about it. And they put off a nice, nice glow. So I thought I would stock up for the winter. The next thing I picked up was this little candle right here. These were $1.49. Here's the name on them. And it says it's 24 hours. 25 hour candle. I haven't got these before, 
but they're $1.49, which I thought was a fabulous price because it's just a classic you know, plain glass with a little candle in it. I think it looks very sophisticated and simple, and I like that. So I had to give them a try, and I picked up two of them because, you know, it's candle season now. So I thought I'm excited to try those. And then I picked up an, a drawer organizer. This is in the kitchen section as well. I like that it's got the big open spot and then the long um, sections. So this, I think, was only $2.99. Here's the name on it, if you're interested. So, yeah, I think that'll come in handy. I have a lot of drawers and not enough organizers. So, this will come in handy. And then, the last thing I picked up was this mirror right here. I thought this was super cool. It was $20, and I just think it's neat. It's a metal on the outside, and I really like the shape. And like the detailing on it I think it is so neat so and then for $20 you can't go wrong with that here's what the back looks like here's the name on it hopefully you can see that but yeah I'm really not sure about the gold I wasn't crazy about that but that's the only color it comes in but if I decide that I can't work with the gold I can just go ahead and paint the frame no big deal Oh, I think it would look really cool painted in black. I don't know why, but I just do. I just like this detail so much. So anyways, that was the last thing I picked up other than the, what do you call that? That storage unit, and we'll talk about that another day. So let's get to the hutch. First, I need to remove everything from the hutch. As I was unpacking things, if I thought I was going to use something for my ball decor, I just kind of plopped it on the hutch. So I'm going to take all that down, and then I'm going to go ahead and give it a cleaning. keep it simple I want to pick out and use some of the brown transferware that I have been picking up lately at the thrift stores and also I want to throw in a little bit of pewter because I think the two of those look really nice together so I guess I'll just kind of see what I come up with as I work on the hutch oh you just take Rima spot oh Arr. Good morning everyone. So it's obviously the next day. I finished cleaning off the hutch last night and then I was completely, completely uninspired as to what to do next. So I thought I should give myself a break and come back at it fresh in the morning. So here we are. <laughs> it's sort of a gloomy day outside today and it's kind of chilly in here. I think I need to turn my air conditioning down. Um, but I am ready to tackle the hutch and I'm hoping I have a couple ideas for the mantle as well. I'm thinking that this video might be getting a little long, so I'm ho we'll get the hutch done today for sure, and then hopefully we can do the mantle as well, and then we'll have to do this other little cubby space behind me another day. But before we get started, I thought I would take you into the pantry and share with you how I use those bins that I got at Ikea yesterday. I think they're going to work out perfectly. Now I wish I would have picked up more. <laughs> so let me take you into the pantry real quick all right so let's go in here real quick turn the light on so we can see all right so i remember i bought two bins i decided to use one for our little snacks like granola bars and trail mixes so that works out perfectly and then the other one i used over here for all of our little drink mixes that we like so that worked out perfectly to corral those things i would like to get a bigger one to put down here by the dog food to put all the little dog food treats in because I have to put them up here right now because otherwise this little guy yesterday when I came home from Ikea they were sitting here the dog treats were here Quinn got into them <laughs> and she had one bag completely opened and she was going to town so yeah see this is what I'm dealing with so I need to reorganize in here, but that's going to be a whole nother. Quinn, get down. 
that's going to be a whole nother video. So we'll do it with that later. But I just thought I would share them with that, these two bins with you real quickly because they work great in the pantry and I'm definitely going to be getting more. Quinn, you're naughty. Get down. Get down. Quinn, get down. There we go. Come on. I definitely have to keep this door shut. There's why a lot, <laughs> they have a lock on the door. The people before us, I think because they had small children. So they couldn't get in there and steal all the snacks. Now we just have a dog that likes to go in there and steal all the snacks. And this one thinks she needs to be fed again. But you don't need to eat. It's not time yet. You just had breakfast. You just had breakfast. Should we get a snack? Oh, a snack. All right, let's go get a snack. They love these little crunchy things. So I just have them sitting out. So we'll give them each a crunchy. Oh my, okay. And one for Arima. There you go. Very happy puppies now. All right, so let's go over to the hutch and figure out what we're gonna do with that. I now have a little bit of a dilemma. 
I, like yesterday, I have a change of plans. We're calling it an audible. Um, Joe has school today. Normally it's online, but today she has to be there. So, lucky mommy gets to take her to class today, but it's all right because I think, how long is your class for? Uh, three hours. Oh. Well, I was going to drop her off and then go thrifting. I can just hang out. I thought it was two hours. I know, but I'm, anyways, okay, we're going to change it up one more time. I'm going to drop her off. I'm going to hit the thrift store that's right next to that. Then I'll come home, and I think we can probably get that mantle done because I'm going to keep it super duper simple. I'm going to put a picture frame up, maybe some candles, some leaves, and that's it. So I'm thinking we can get that done in less than like 10 minutes, and then I can get this video edited and up for you guys today, which is Tuesday. So... Cross your fingers that my plans will work <laughs> and we will go do some running around and come back and get started on the mantle. Yay! Hi there. So I am back from dropping Joe off at school. I actually decided just to go ahead. The dogs are wrestling. Can you see them in the chair? They're fighting over chairs today, you guys. Rama, whatever chair Rama gets into, Quinn wants it and will fight for it until Rama gets so bothered by it that she just leaves. <laughs> Goes to a different chair and then starts all over again. So anyways, hopefully they won't be so loud. It won't be too loud. So I went ahead and waited for Joe while she was at school. It was a three hour wait. I had myself some lunch because it was late after lunch time. And then I went to a couple thrift stores. Um, found some really fun things and that will be coming up in a haul here soon um, but now I'm home it is 5 30 already um, and I need to get this mantle done so because I'm running low on daylight hours again I went ahead and just decorated the mantle I'm keeping things super simple so instead of decorating it with you this section for today I'm just gonna share with you what I did I am keeping things super simple, like uber simple, but I really like the way it looks. So, so I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you what I've done, and I hope you guys like it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the mantle and this gorgeous oil painting. I found this at the thrift store. I can't even remember how much it was. I wanna say it was like $14.99, and I think I've had it for a few years now, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. There are some imperfections up in the corner and a few different spots, and. It's kind of starting to crack, but I don't care. I absolutely love it. And it is perfect for my fall decor with the yellows and little bits of green. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So I decided that this was gonna be my focal point on my mantle and I absolutely love it. And then I just added a few other things to both ends just to kind of cozy it up just a little bit. So the first thing I did was add two pewter candlesticks from the thrift store. I think this one was $1.99. I think this one was maybe $3. I can't really remember. But I found them at different times, and I think they look nice together. And then I added candlesticks. These are battery-operated. I found those at the thrift store as well. And I love them because they'll come on at the same time every single night for about eight hours. So this area will get a nice little candlelight glow, and I don't have to worry about an open flame. So those are awesome. I see candles like this at the thrift store all the time. So start looking for them. If you've got a pretty good candle selection area in your thrift stores, I bet you they have something like this. Then I added this vintage book to give this candlestick a little bit more height, to give it a little more dimension and a little more interest. This book was from the thrift store as well. And then finally, I added some little um, sprigs of leaves that I had from last year. I got this, these leaves at Hobby Lobby last year. I love them. They're like in tones of orange, got a little bit of yellow, burnt umber in them, and then even like the white with the brown. They're gorgeous. I believe they still have them the last time I was at Hobby Lobby, and they're not very expensive. And they come in a pretty big bunch. So if you like the yellow leaves, which yellow and the red leaves are my favorite to look for in the fall, so that's what I like to bring into my home. These are awesome, and I could not recommend them even anymore. If I can find a link, I will put that down in the description box, along with all the other products that I used in today's video, if I can find links. 
All right, so then let's move over to the other side of the mantle. So then I went ahead and batted a few things down by the firebox itself, just to kind of cozy up this spot as well. I added this simple basket. I bought it from the thrift store. I think it was like $4, $5, something like that. I love the shape. I like that it's a little oversized, and I would love to find a little throw blanket or a pillow that I can throw in there, but I haven't been able to find one that I think goes with the mix. So I'm gonna keep looking for that. So I don't have anything in my stash that I'm liking. So that will come later if I find something. Otherwise, I just like the simple basket right there. It can kind of be a catch-all for things that are left around the room. I can just throw it in the basket and then <laughs> People are like, where are my, where, you know, where's my headphones? I'm like, look in the basket. I like to have empty baskets like that in high traffic rooms because they are very, very useful. You can just dash stuff in there and then you don't have to look at the clutter on your counters or, you know, tables or whatever. So that is a good place for that. And then I added these cute little squirrels. I think I, I added the squirrels yesterday actually because I knew that I wanted to put them here on this area of the fireplace. I think they're so cute. I got them at a church sale this past summer and I've been dying to use them for my fall decor. I probably could have got much more um, creative with them, but I'm just keeping things simple. So I think this is cute and I think they're adorable. And then finally, I added this lantern for another little place to add some candlelight. I've got battery operated candles in there once again. Um, those are from the thrift store as well. The lantern itself is from Hobby, no wait, I'm sorry, from Home Goods. I bought it not too long ago. I think I shared it in like a fall decor haul or something like that. I can't remember within the last month or so. And I just love the rustic wood of it. And I think it is very pretty. So I think it goes nicely with the mantle and the other touches of wood that I have in the room. So I'm loving that. That, my friends, is going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun decorating. It was it felt so good to get, start decorating again. <laughs> and um, I like the small touches of fall. Nothing over the top or crazy, but just enough to give you those fall feels, you know? So if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. I love doing decorating videos like this. I also do thrift hauls and DIYs and homemaking videos, those sort of things. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video today, I would love it if you hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of today's video so I know for future reference so I can do similar things in future videos so that you will enjoy. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.